Hello everyone. Welcome to the solutions to the problems from chapter 6 of the book Cost Benefit Analysis Concepts and Practice by Boardman, Greenberg, Vining and Weimer. The team is Suvranil and Adam. In the first problem, the government planned to implement legislation to set minimum wage to $5, which is higher than the equilibrium wage rate of $4. This would result in employed workers to be reduced from 600 to 500. Due to the minimum wage, employers would lose surplus to the extent of $550, which is graphically represented by the yellow highlighted area in the graph. Due to increases in the wage, the workers that remained employed will gain a surplus of $500. The unemployed workers would lose surplus equal to $100 based on the assumption that they are equally distributed between $2 reservation wage and $4 equilibrium wage. The 200 newly entered workers did not gain a job or lose a job post minimum wage implementation and hence didn't gain or lose any surplus either. Therefore, the total surplus is a negative $150. Problem 2 wants us to estimate rural wage and the workers lower and upper bound market wage. From Harris Todaro model, we know rural wage is equal to urban wage times the employment rate. We are being provided with 40% unemployment rate, which equates to 60% employment rate. Using that, we get the rural market wage to be 1.2 dubias. A reasonable upper bound estimate for the market wage for unskilled workers is their urban market wage which is 2 dubias per week while a reasonable lower bound estimate is their rural market wage which is 1.2 dubias per week. In the third problem, the government wants to hire 20 unemployed workers. Since the wages offered by the government projects is $12, workers whose reservation wage is equal to or below $12 will only apply to be hired. The opportunity cost of hiring the first 20 workers based on the reservation wage is $132.94, while the total budgetary outflow of hiring the 20 workers at $12 with $240. The opportunity cost of hiring the first 20 workers will be low and it will be $69.61. If we perform the experiment 15 times, the standard deviation of opportunity cost to hire the first 20 workers would be $8.35, and the mean opportunity cost would be $141.19. So that concludes chapter 6. Thank you.